Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Back in 1997, Larry Page and Sergey Brin developed a life-changing program that, within 20 years, has become a household commodity and the cornerstone of an impressively successful multinational technology conglomerate. Google is in our homes, on our phones, and even driving through our neighborhoods. But do you really know the internet company? Well, we're happy to provide you a little extra information with these top 10 incredible facts about Google. Oh yes, and if after watching you find you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. Leave a comment below, perhaps about another interesting fact related to Google. And search for, and click the bell to get notified automatically whenever we upload a new video. Number 10, World's Most Valuable. Since 2011, Apple had dominated the world of branding with an approximate brand value of $145 billion. After failing to impress the market and consumers with its line of technologies, by 2017, the multinational technology company dropped to the second most valuable brand in the world, with its value slipping to $107 billion. With $109 billion backing its name, Google delightfully stepped in as the world's most valuable brand, for now. Number 9. Employee Benefits You may think that your bi-weekly company lunch is just the bee's knees, but it may pale just a little in comparison to the benefits Google bestows upon its employees. In fact, there are so many that we won't get to cover them all. But Google employees are known for enjoying a dog-friendly work environment, free massages, gym access and fitness classes, 18 weeks maternity and six weeks paternity leave with bonuses, access to financial advisors, and family death benefits that pay out for 10 years after the employee's passing. Maybe even more important is the constant access to food and free Google-themed condoms. Number eight, back rub. No, no, we're not referencing one of the company's many employee perks. Before Google was, well, Google, it was a much smaller company, not even on the radar. It also wasn't even called Google. Fans of wordplay, Page and Bren opted to call their newly formed entity Backrub, referencing how their program evaluated backlinks to determine a website's reputation and filter other related sites. In 1997, the Google name was born, but that's a story for a different time. Number seven, what's in a name? Okay, so that time is now. If you've ever wondered where Google came from, it actually stemmed from a slip-up by Stanford University student Sean Anderson, who stepped in when the minds behind Backrub wanted a name change. Anderson initially suggested Google, or the long-form number of 10 to the 100th power, but while searching the domain availability of Google.com, slipped and typed in Google.com, which caught Page's attention. On September 15, 1997, Google.com was officially registered. Fun fact, Google hates when the term Googling or any variation of it is used to refer to the act of performing a web search unless you're actually using Google. Number six, goats of Google. Back in 2009, Google was making headlines for its unique method in lawn care, goats. At its Mountain View, California headquarters, Google's Director of Real Estate and Workplace Services, Dan Hoffman, enlisted the services of a local company, California Grazing, to tend to the property. Rather than send a team of green thumbs, California Grazing provided Google with 200 goats, a herd of natural lawnmowers that spent a week at a time grazing and fertilizing the surrounding property, while at the same time providing a cleaner and quieter alternative to typical landscaping companies. Of course, PETA involved themselves, raising concerns about transportation, shelter, and veterinary care of the goats. Number five, selling Google. Before Google was worth billions, Page and Bren weren't intending on it being a long-term project. Instead, the two were ready to sell off their creation in 1999 to what was then the number two search engine, Excite.com. With a price tag of $750,000, Excite had shown interest in Google, but when Page mentioned the stipulation that all of Excite's technology would need to be replaced by Google's, the deal fell through. A year earlier, the Stanford students approached Yahoo with a $1 million offer for PageRank, which became the meat and potatoes of Google. Ultimately, Yahoo declined and has regretted it ever since, evident by their failing YouTube channel. Oh, the irony. Number four, company acquisitions. In the beginning, there was just little old Google. 
Then in 2015, the internet powerhouse went through a restructuring to form the parent company, Alphabet Inc., with Paige and Bren filling the seats of CEO and President, respectively. You may be wondering why the need for a blanket company, and the answer lies within the some 200 smaller companies that Google has acquired over the years. Boston Dynamics, ReCAPTCHA, Alchemy Labs, Jetpack, and Motorola Mobility were just a few of the notable purchases, though the robotics company, Boston Dynamics, was put up for sale in March of 2016 for lack of revenue. Number 3. Calico in 2013, Google joined forces with Apple Chairman and former Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of Biotechnology Corporation Genentech Inc., Arthur D. Levinson, to form Calico. Since its success, the web tech company has invested in many ventures, but Calico, short for California Life Company, may be one of its most notable shifts away from search engines and the Internet. Calico's main focus has been combating aging and age-related diseases, focusing heavily on cancer and neurodegeneration. Research performed within Calico's facilities is done within a secretive fog, with reps for the company remaining incredibly vague about the actual science behind its anti-aging efforts. Number 2. Google Failures Even the greatest of minds are bound to fail, and for every genius implement Google has, it also must face its collection of missteps. One of its most notable failed products was meant to give Facebook a run for its money, but Google Plus never took off. Despite having over 2.5 billion registered users, most of which were forced registrations from YouTube, an estimated 90% of them never used the program's more social aspects. Google Plus wasn't even Google's first attempt at social networking, as it struggled to launch Google Buzz, Dodgeball, and Orcut. Google also attempted to revolutionize wearable technology with Google Glass, a pair of smart glasses that showed promise, but failed to deliver on the consumer level. Number 1. Lunar X Prize Everybody wants to know more about our solar system, but Google is willing to pay over $20 million to actually get results. Launched in 2015, the Google Lunar X Prize competition sought to pit a series of teams against one another in a privately funded space race. Each team was charged with launching a lunar robot that could travel across the moon's surface for 1,640 feet and transmit high-def imaging and video. 34 teams entered the competition, but by 2017, only five remained and were under contract to launch. The teams have until the end of 2017 to launch their craft in order to be eligible for the $20 million first prize. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. Leave a comment below about something you found interesting. We really enjoy engaging in conversations with you. And remember to click the bell to be notified when the team at Top 10 Archive uploads the next new video.